What's going on everyone and welcome to this week's status report. If you don't know what these are, the developers do these weekly to let us know how development is going and where they are with the development for Daisy standalone. So we have a lot to talk about this week. Let's get into the video and see what we have. So let's start off and talk about the loot distribution improvements that they are currently working on. Uh, basically they want to try to control the quantity per server of rare items. So uh, items that have high value like the M4 or the SVD that is currently being worked on. Uh, we talked about the SVD a few status reports ago if you want to go back and see that. But these are some of the items that they want to be able to control how many of them are in a server. Next they also want to do uh, changes to the loot table making it more based on the region or area that you're in rather than uh, the building that you're in so that seems kind of interesting we'll see how that goes once it's finished and then also they just in general want to evenly distribute uh, the loot across uh, Trenaris so that is what they're currently working on with loot distribution uh, we'll see how these changes affect the game once they're in but for now let's move on and see what we have next So they did also say that they are doing improvements to the skybox and lighting settings to improve the experience visually, especially at dawn, slash dusk, and at night. So I'm glad they're working on that. If they can make it look a little bit better, uh, then you know I'm all for that. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And then we also have a quote from the lead artist, and he ended up saying, I'm hoping that we will find a way to add the Milky Way spiral arm visible in the night sky to our game so that would be really impressive it would probably look really cool uh, we'll see if they will be able to add something like that but if they are uh, nighttime in daisy standalone would look really really cool so uh, we'll see if they give us any updates about how that goes uh, they did also say that work continues on women's clothing we actually did get a picture that's the one that you see right there at the bottom and then of course all the other stuff that we've been talking about in the past prison uniform northeast airfield buildings uh, new zombie types and all the other stuff uh, that we talked about in the past is still being worked on and i hope we can see some of those things in the game soon a new control system is also being worked on and the goals of this new system is to make controlling your character as fluid as possible. So uh, they said quote, that means we want to eliminate user action menu or at least try to have this possibility just for very special cases. And they did also say uh, the new controls will allow for the expansion of the melee system. Uh, once this is introduced, all items, of course firearms too, can become melee weapons which is kind of interesting if you actually go over and read the status report i think they give an example of uh using an apple that you're holding in your hands to hit a zombie that's attacking you so i didn't know that's something that would be in this game but it will be coming uh with this new control system and it's going to be interesting to see how much uh, damage each item will do. We'll see how they end up doing this, but let's move on and let's look at the new weapons coming into Daisy Standalone. So for weapons, they did say that work continues on the Derringer, AK-74M, AKS-74U, and now also MP-133 with pistol grip. And that is the picture that you see at the top right there. They did also say that they're still on schedule to add the 5.45mm ammo and AK-74 before the end of October, which is not that far away. I'm guessing this means uh, those two things, the ammo and the AK-74 uh, family, will be coming in the next experimental if they do stay on schedule so i'm definitely looking forward to testing those weapons out and seeing how they are uh, if they do stay on schedule and release them next week and they did also say that they're working on a flare gun not too much info there but they are working on it uh, they haven't given out when that will be released or any images of it but hopefully uh, we will get to see those soon uh, there is also the different Derringer models there on the screen. You can see they actually made a pink one, they're calling that one the Lady Derringer, and then uh, also two other models. Let's move on to our last slide and see what we have there. So this is where we talk about the art, animation, design, and programming being worked on this week. So we got those lists right there on the screen, and you can see there they actually uh, have uh, implementation of the V3S vehicle there under programming and vehicles under design. So uh, that is something that we might be seeing pretty soon here. You can see it there under programming and uh, seems like that's something that they're working on. Of course, all the other stuff on there that we talked about in the past 
like the large military tent and some of the other stuff on there. They kind of gave us a teaser for the next status report and they said in the next one we can expect them to talk about the new inventory and also later on we should uh, be hearing about uh, animal companions and how that's something uh, that they are uh, discussing right now. So pretty interesting stuff on there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time.